Hey guys, StationX here, and today we're going to be doing Video Game Pickups 14, and at this one, it's going to be looking at a bunch of original Xbox games. I got a big haul here, and this one is exciting to me because for the most part, I didn't play too much original Xbox. I played some of like the big, big hitters like Halo, but I never really experienced all what the original Xbox can be. For the most part, I either played the stuff on PS2 or I was just on uh, on the Xbox 360. But I have heard of most of these or at least some of them to some extent. So while I won't probably be able to add my like opinion on a lot of these different games, I just wanted to at least show what I got. And definitely this has expanded the original Xbox collection because that one was a, a little lacking in games for me on that, on that end. I don't really collect a whole lot, but Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. If I mispronounce any names, just please don't hold it against me. But here we have Bard's Tale. It's a very, you know, medieval looking game and it has this really funny advertisement here. It's a free 12 month Xbox Nation, which I assume is a magazine that they used to do, which, you know, it's not around anymore as I don't hear about it ever. So yeah, like this is uh, it's a pretty cool looking game. Pretty interesting. Here we have uh, Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. It's another pretty cool looking one. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Matrix vibe a bit. So it's kind of cool. Here we have the Fable games. Now these ones I know about because these were basically one of the few Xbox games that were exclusive to Xbox that had a series going. Because there was, back in the original Xbox days and 360, they did have a lot of exclusive stuff, but very few actually got continued as a series like halo and forza but fable was another one that got multiple games and here we have not only the original version of fable but we have the lost chapters version and what does annoy me about this form in particular is that they they only release this in platinum hits versions so this kind of sucks so that when you're displaying it, it's not gonna look as nice but i mean hey is what it is you know i mean i guess i could always just not have this case and just put the disc in here but where's the fun in that here we have family guy now i've definitely heard of the show but i've never played this game the cover does remind me a little bit of simpsons hit and run a bit but that's all i got for it but this is one i definitely am interested in checking out but i actually have this game on a another platform which i'll talk about at some point but uh here we also have FIFA. This is the one of the World Cup games. This one in particular is Germany from 2006. So that's pretty cool. And we have a 007 game, which is also really cool because of the fact that 007, at least back in the day, this was like right after uh, the N64 one with 007. Well, the GoldenEye 007. This is literally what it was called. But I don't know if this one is as popular. I know a lot of people look fondly back on that N64 version and nothing really else all the other ones are kind of like they're good but you know that n64 one <laughs> and here we have uh full spectrum warrior this one looks pretty interesting just because of the fact that it i do like my uh military shooters so it's like i do like first person shooting games and so i mean it this one definitely grabs my attention a little bit so I was like, i'm a big call of duty guy and while I don't necessarily need it to be exactly like Call of Duty, but just, I, I do find those things very interesting. So I'll give that one a try. Have Godfather of the game. Now, me being Italian, I know all too much about Godfather, and so uh, never actually played the game, but the movies are fantastic. But, I mean, everything got a game back then, so it's like, this one, I have no doubt. that They actually have this on the 360, and I've seen it on other platforms, but it's kind of cool that I have it for the original xbox and i also do like how it's just this nice kind of matte black here <laughs> it just kind of makes the the banner look really nice with the rest of the cover it's just him in suit black and white it just looks nice it's also made by ea which is kind of funny here we have some harry potter games so we have harry potter quidditch world cup which is i guess it's just literally just about the quidditch game and here we just have one based off the movie prisoner of azkaban which it was a really nice movie. I really liked that one. So if there was a Harry Potter game I would love to play, it's this one because I think out of all the movies, that one was my favorite. Here we have some Hitman games as well. 
We have Hitman Contracts, a Hitman Blood Money. I actually have this one also on the Xbox 360 as well, so that one's pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, these are kind of self-explanatory. You're playing as a hired gun, and you're just going around taking people out. So that's about it. And here's the last one on this pile, Jade Empire. Another interesting looking game. It looks cool. And so that's really all I could say about it here this is a game obviously if you guys have seen my recent video this is something i'm very fond of lego star wars 2 the original trilogy my goal is to try to get all the different lego star wars games and so this kind of completes the bucket list on that i also want to try to get it on the gamecube because that would be something that's really nice because i enjoy the gamecube just a little bit more i think out of the whole six generation systems i think gamecube to me is just for nostalgia reasons, this is a little bit better in my opinion. But, I mean, having this in general is pretty cool. And it has this banner, the sequel to the award-winning LEGO Star Wars video game, which is pretty cool. And I just kind of find it funny that the, the LEGO Star Wars games kind of follow the story as the first game had 1, 2, and 3, and this one had 4, 5, and 6. So, at least in the LEGO games, they follow the story the way it's supposed to. <laughs> but, there you go. And then we have... Like, uh, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. I have a couple Lord of the Rings games. Not really a big fan of them. I'm not super familiar with the series. It does have this really cool sticker, though. It's usually something you see on, like, sports games and things like that with, of course, the ring there. Very nice. But I never really watched the movie, so I can't really say I'm not a big fan of it. I just never piqued my interest. And here we have Matrix. I actually had one of the other Matrix games, and like the, the you know, this one doesn't have it as cool of a cover because I think that our first Matrix game that I had really had a nice cover, but this one also is still metallic, so it's still this nice shiny cover you have there, so that's awesome. So, one of the few games I actually did play Medal of Honor, an amazing shooting game which does not. It just doesn't seem much love nowadays, but I mean, I would love to see the series come back. This one in particular, I believe, is during the uh, Pacific Theater ones, because it's uh, the Rising Sun game. So, I mean, I think it's pretty cool because I don't think we get to see that side of the world too much. But, hey, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, World Munchies Odyssey. I see this game everywhere, and I just never get to actually play it. I never picked one up, and I... I don't know if this is the first one I have, but this is definitely like one of the ones. I, this is one of the ones I got for free, so that's that's why it kind of stands out to me a bit. Plus, it's a soda can, which I think is kind of cool. I do like my soda, so I mean, I, maybe this might be the one where I finally start to play the series because I see this all the time and I just never give it an actual shot. And uh, here we have. Uh, I don't even want to try to pronounce this title because I'm probably going to butcher it, but it's Mortal Warriors. Action game at its finest. This uh, GMR preview, October 04. It's 2004 this thing came out, which is, seems like an eternity ago. But yeah, I mean, it looks really cool and it's an Xbox exclusive. So that's another thing. I would always like to try to collect all the Xbox and Xbox 360 exclusives because it's just Xbox is just memed on for not having any. And so trying to get them all would be kind of a cool little collecting goal I have. And then here we have Robin Hood, Defender of the Crown. I mean, it's just, a, it's just an average game in my opinion, like, this doesn't look anything super special. It is made by Capcom, so I mean, who knows? Maybe it actually is a good game, a hidden gem, as you say. But, uh, you know, at first glance, this doesn't look very special. Here we got Scarface, The World is Yours. I believe I already showed this on PS2. If not this particular game, it was a different Scarface game. But just like the Godfather one has this black and white sort of deal going on, which just always looks very nice. And here we have Splinter Cell. Very familiar with this series, although never really like fully played one to beginning to end, but it's okay. It's a Tom Clancy game. So, I mean, they're always a fun time. I just never really like dove, you know, just too deep into it. But yeah, if you ever do like the Splinter Cell games, it's a cool series to check out. 
and this last bit of it is just Star Wars games. I know this was actually a game that I talked about in the very first video game pickups. It was the PS2 one, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, an amazing game. And this one in particular was one of my favorite movies of all time. Revenge of the Sith is just one of my favorite Star Wars movies out of all of the, of all the Star Wars movies. So, I mean, it's just a fantastic game to pick up, especially if you're a big fan of Star Wars. And also the rest of these, like Public uh, Republic Commando is an awesome multiplayer game as well. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I have the first one. This one is a amazing sequel. And this one's kind of interesting because you have Star Wars The Clone Wars, where the game itself isn't, you know, whatever. But it's a uh, double pack. So this also came with Tetris World. So I do like me some Tetris. The covers seem better days, though. But... That's all the original Xbox games I have for this pile today, but I do still have a bonus one here. While I technically already own it, I just didn't own it with this particular steelbook in mind, and I never shown it in a video game pickup, so I figured now would be the time. Here we have Halo 2, the limited collector's edition. This one is complete, as far as I know. It has most, if not all, the things in it. I don't know if there is missing some stuff, but got the manual. The, uh, this piece of paper and this two month free trial here. It's already been used, so there's nothing nothing about it. You know, can't can't steal the code from me if it has already been used. So. And then here we have not only Halo 2, but the limited collector's edition disc as well. So this one's a really cool collector's piece. I already had one of these before, but it was all kind of like rusted and stuff so it had like these little rust dots as you can see on the bottom here this is a a big problem with a lot of the older steelbooks and you can still see it on the front a bit but this one i think is the cleanest i've ever seen it and even though again i still have some like battle scars here i think this is probably the nicest steelbook i've seen of the halo 2 one so far so one day I will track down an actual just like pristine copy and then I'll have like one to actually display on the shelf like perfectly. But until then, this is as perfect as I'm going to get it. But that will truly be all the original Xbox games I got in this collection. Please let me know what you guys think about the games in the comments below. And tell me if you're a big fan of Xbox. Another way to support the channel is by just subscribing and liking the videos. It's a big help if you enjoy my content. And I'll be stationed next, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.